Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and uh, someone asked me in the comments, what can you make out of pallet wood? So I got another little project. It's going to be a stud finder. So for today's project, we're going to be making this stud finder, and it works on the principle of using a magnet. So let's say that's a screw underneath the uh, drywall compound on the wall, and when you get to where the stud is, the magnet's going to stick because it's going to stick to the nail and then you take the pencil which is spring loaded and you push down and that will mark your stud. So that's how it works. I'm just going to cut this thing out on my uh, wooden bandsaw. Now I'm just centering up a hole. This center points for the magnet. I'm using two rare earth magnets. Just gonna stick them in there. It should be a pretty tight pressure fit. I missed. Sticking to the hammer. That should be good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole through for a pencil. Because whenever you use a stud finder, you always need a pencil. Now we're going to drill in the same hole and we're going to widen it for our spring and it needs to be just about three eighths of an inch deep. That should do it. Next step is to get a pencil, put it in the hole and take a saw and just lightly mark. That will show you right where the tip hits the bottom of our fixture. So the spring that I'm using comes out of my kit. It's a uh, 3 8 by 3 quarter inch compression spring. So compression meaning it's when I compress it it's pushing out. And we're going to take this spring and we're going to put it about 3 8 of an inch or so maybe half an inch above the mark I've indicated on the pencil and we're going to crimp it on there so I'm going to crimp the top part of the spring so just this has a rounded uh, die on there so just give it a good squeeze and that'll hold our spring in place alright so here's what we have we have the pencil with the spring on it a slightly wider hole up top and a through hole for the pencil and of course the magnet. We're going to push this through here and if you just push down real hard on your spring it should engage in the hole and it depending on your drill size and your spring might take a little wiggling around to get it in there but I got it. You just want it enough that it's going to hold your pencil like that. The pencil's designed so that it won't hit the wall. You can slide it like that on the wall, it won't hit. But when you push down on the pencil, it'll mark the wall. Just like that. So it, it sticks through, and then it comes back on its own. 
All right, we'll clean this up a little bit. Here's how the tool works. You put it on the wall and you look around for a screw. And when you find one, it'll stick to it just like that. And then once it sticks to the screw, you can just push on the pencil and mark where your hole is. Although you probably don't want to mark that big. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is more or less, you know, a little novelty item. It's not too hard to find studs in a wall. You can either knock on the drywall and listen for the stud. You can look to see where outlets are and either on the left or the right of the outlet you'll find a stud. You could take your tape measure and measure off that stud 16 inches and find the next stud and so on. Or you can look for imperfections in the drywall paste and that might show where screws have been filled. So uh, if you want to make one of these you can. It works. It's not the greatest tool I ever used. This is the stud finder that I normally use. That works pretty well. It also has like a, a laser beam for like hanging pictures. So I've had that about 10 years. It's been pretty good. But anyhow I'll put links in the description and thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. See ya.